Today I'm going to show you how to work with Tollybar ERP software. How to set up your company, its inputs, orders and outputs. First, you'll need to log in. After logging in, the only thing that will appear is the module Home. If you go to Setup and then Company slash Foundation, this is a screen that will appear. You'll need to fill in all the blanks with the relevant information from your company. Then click on Save. This is what your company looks like. Then you have to go to Modules in order to enable some modules that will help you manage your company in a better way. Two important modules are the Product module and the Stock module inside the Product Management. If you click on Setup, here, you'll have to activate the Virtual Products feature. This will allow you to link your raw materials with your manufactured products and do the bill of materials. Choose Yes and then Modify. If you go back to Modules and then to the Stock module, click on Setup. And then here, you'll have to choose the options Decrease stocks on customers invoice credit notes validation and increase real stocks on supplier invoice credit notes validation in order to increase and decrease automatically the stocks of your products. After creating the company, you will need to create the company's products. For that, click on products slash services. After clicking there, click on new product and this screen will appear. Insert all the relevant information to create a new product, such as reference, which is the reference that you'll search the product for, label, which is the name, its status, if it is for sale, it's a manufactured product, or if it is for purchase, it's a raw material. Then add the description, public URL, stock limit for alert, and desired stock. Also important is to add its nature, if it is a manufactured product or a raw material. Insert any notes that you want, and then click on Create. When you click on Create, the product will automatically appear on the list of products. Here you'll see manufactured products as well as raw materials. For example, we'll click on the tank cap for Audi A3. This is a manufactured product. As you'll see, this is the module that we enabled before. If you click on Virtual Product and then on Search, you can add any raw materials that you like to this product. Very important is to put the quantities negative so that the stock is diminished when you upload it. Then click on Add Update and it's done. For the next step of this tutorial, we will show you how to create your bank account. Click on Bank slash Cash and then on New Financial Account. Here you'll need to fill all the relevant information from your financial account specifying the type of financial account that you want. Then if you click again on bank slash cash, cash, this is the financial account of your company. This is how the financial account of your company looks like. Now it's time to create a new warehouse. Click on products slash services, then on stocks, and finally on New Warehouse. This is where you fill in all the relevant information regarding your new warehouse. If you click again on List, this is the list of all the warehouses of your company. Here you can see all the products that are stored inside of your warehouse. Now it's time to create third parties. If you click on New Third Party, here you can create prospect, customer or supplier, specifying which one you want here and then filling all the relevant information and finally clicking on add third party. 
For example, if we go to list of suppliers, here you can see all of the suppliers of our company. And this is the screen with all the relevant information that you filled before here for Bosch. Now we are going to show you how to place orders for your company. Click on commercial and then choose from the options on your left. We are going to exemplify customer's order. At the end we will show you the difference between customer's order and supplier's order. Click on new order, fill in all the relevant information such as the customer, the date, delivery date, payment term, payment type and availability delay. Then click on draft. Now you'll need to choose the product that you want to send to your customer and the quantity of product that you want to, to send. Click on add and then validate. Click on yes. Now you'll need to ship the product. Click on ship product. Choose the warehouse that you want to ship from and then new shipment. Fill in all the relevant information and the quantity to ship. Then click on create. After this step you'll need to validate. Click on yes. And now you'll have to create an invoice for this shipment. Click on create invoice. Fill in all the relevant information such as date, payment term, payment type and then click on create draft. Then you'll need to validate this invoice. Click in yes. And the invoice has been validated. Now you'll need to do payment. Select the date that you've been paid, the bank account, copy the amount of the payment, paste here and click on pay. Click on validate and now you have received the payment. Now for suppliers orders we've made the same steps that we made for customers orders. The only difference is that here you'll have this field. Choose the order method if it was by fax, email or phone and then click on make order. Click on yes And now here you'll have the opportunity to say if you received the total, partial or never received the supply. Click on receive. In this final part we will show you some dolly bar features that will help make important decisions. If you click on bank slash cash and then on list of transactions, you can see all the transactions of your company. Please don't forget to reconcile all your payments. Then, if you go to the home module, you'll see all the latest events and actions, and Dolly Bar will also emit an alert if you have late work tasks. Then, if you go to products slash services, and then to the list of products, you'll see that Dolly Bar also emits an alert if your physical stock is below the limit that you've established. Also, if you'll go to the warehouse, you can see the movements, and if you want, you can do replenishments. This is all for now. We covered all the relevant and important parts of Dolly Bar. Hope it's been helpful. Have a nice day.